right. Time to play some H3VR. We got a new update this week, and uh, guess what we got? We got some bullpups. Oh, and uh, also, I turned on the uh, new, whatchamacallits, the uh, experimental grabby, gravity physics grab thing, so, uh, you know what? Let's try it out. So first up, we've got the A1, the AUG A1. Let me just see if I can get it. All right. Ooh, nice. I kind of like that. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, one of the best things about Half-Life Alex is the, uh, the gravity gun system. Basically, but yeah, so this is the uh, A1. Got the uh, cool little uh, integrated scope sight thing, which uh, can't do much about it, but uh, pretty cool nonetheless. Let's turn this baby on. Also got iron sights at the top there. Don't need it. Ooh, a lot of smoke there. <laughs> but it's a uh, bullpup, so it's uh, obviously gonna spit rounds in your face. Oh man, I gotta practice thing. Uh, practice this. Uh... Oh nope. There we go. Now I need I need a, I need a little more practice with the uh, gravity gloves. But that is pretty cool. Throw that away. All right, let's uh, shoot off some more. Oh, bull pups, man. Bring that back. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So this is the uh, AUG A1. Let's see what we can, uh, we can do with this. Obviously, we can probably put a suppressor or a barrel attachment. A muzzle brake if you want. Load that up. Oh, I'm still using the laser. I need to remember I can use the uh, gravity or the gravity. Grabid, <laughs> gravity. Gravity. There we go. But uh, yeah, so we got the uh, muzzle brake. Uh, let's try a suppressor. Oh, proud. Okay. If you want to do that, that's up to you completely. What else? Uh, barrel extensions. Get rid of that. What kind of suppressor can I put on this thing? Uh, let's try the Uzi suppressor. You can't vault this one yet. Uh, Anton will probably fix that in a hot fix. But uh, there you go, the AUG A1 by Steyr. Put that away, and uh, of course you've got the A3 that was uh, recently redone, so it doesn't look like uh, uh, what it used to be. And he also removed the uh, foregrip and the. Well, I didn't think it had a scope before. I don't remember now. <laughs> it's been a long time since I used it. Are these magazines the same? I think these are different. 
No, they're pretty much the same. Just different colors. But yeah, okay, it's fine, good enough for me. Oh, yeah, very not lefty friendly, but uh, you know, most guns aren't. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, grab this for right now. Put a uh, foregrip on this thing. What can I use? How about... No, 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 no. Well, well you know what? Let's do an angled one. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what? Since we've got a little thing under there, let's do an underbarrel. With the... Uh, 203 here. And then a suppressor. We go with... Uh, No, no, let's not go with the suppressor. Let's go with the uh, shroud here. Oh, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Oh, you know what? Forget about that. Let me try something here. See if I can force this thing on to the bottom. I kind of like that. I like that. Nope. Nope. Get, get, get in there. Hmm. I want it to be... Oh, there we go. That's what I want. And then we can stick this onto like that. Get ourselves a nice little futuristic weapon. Grab a magazine here. Ooh. Oh. Full pups, man. Full pups. Oh no. I'll save that in the vault. That in there. Oh, wait, hold on just a second. There we go. All right. Pretty cool. So what else is there on the list? We have some Team Fortress weapons. Let me just uh, go off into the roving grounds here. But before you do, that's always habit. It's a force of habit for me. You gotta eat those hot dogs. All right, let's go into the proving grounds and check out the uh, new Team Fortress, or sorry, Meat Fortress weapons. It's so sad, the state of Team Fortress 2 nowadays, that uh, you, you kind of wish that it were being updated. All right, so let's see. This is the Bush Ranger's Boon. All right, pretty cool. Does it have a folding stock? It does. Pretty nice. And this is the magazine that goes with it. So let's stick this in a slot here and let's uh, see what we can do to customize. 
Where are the meat fortress attachments? Although, you could use the regular attachments. Doesn't really matter. Oh, can I put the, uh... Oh, you can. Back 10 shroud. Barrel extenders. Okay. Let's get ourselves a uh, suppressor here. And, uh... A meat fortress. Uh, SMG suppressor. Oh, nice. I like that. That's pretty cool. But you know what? Let's fire the gun off first. Spawn some soul sigs. A lot more. Doesn't do too well against armor. But it's pretty powerful, nonetheless. Just, you know, don't hit any uh, hard armor like this. Those are some nice Kevlar pants. I love the sound of this gun, dude. It sounds really, uh... I don't know, thick. Whoops. Grab it. Oh, but you know what? I spawned a suppressor for it. Might as well use it. Oh, not. There we go. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. That cartoonish uh, suppressor, silencer kind of. I'll just leave you alone. <laughs> One lone sausage. But yeah, so that's the uh, Bush Ranger's boon. Oh, there's also uh, alternate... Uh... Let me see, hold on. Let me load up the uh, spawn panel here. Oh, I really need to use uh, the gravity gloves a lot more, but uh, I'll use them when the time comes. So this... What is this? Uh, 12 by 32 Dingo Womper. 12 by 32. Okay, this is going to be... Uh, it's 12, right? There it is. Alright, so let's check out what we got. Full metal jacket. That's what this thing is loaded with. We got the bushfire. Which I think, oops, did set sausages on fire. Come on. Not here. Here. Me. No. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. And the funnel spider. Which... Hmm. Looks like a flechette round. Although I think Anton described it as like buckshot, maybe? <laughs> With the tracers, it looks like a laser pistol. I really love these uh, these uh, Team Fortress 2 weapons. Little funnel spider rain there, you know? Let's see how it sounds, or let's hear how it sounds without the suppressor. Oops, that was weird. You get really close. Time there we go. <laughs> Just kneecap them. I'm gonna shoot you in the knees. A really fun weapon. Oh, look at all those spent magazines. Wow. All right, that's enough. It's actually very pretty, you know? But, uh, all right, let's just move on from that. And check out the... Snag Snagger. Oh, yep, I'll, I'll look at that later. But this, I think, let's go to Meat Fortress here and uh, check this out. The the Snag Sanger. Huh, okay. 18 by 50 millimeter pack of wallop. So let's go to the cartridge calibers here. All right, so. Got some rounds here. I should use the gravity gloves. Oh, nope, that's not working for some reason. There we go. Now it's working. And this one. Okay, there we go. Cool. And let me just get, get this grenade later. Also this one. I think it uses, it uses the same ammunition, right? This is the Obrez version. Oh, no, this is the last bit. Just a second. Yeah, it uses the same ammunition. But it's a uh, Obrezd version of that. Oh, uh, whatever. All right, so. Again, this is the uh, Snag Sanger. And I wonder. Oh, it does have a laser. Oh, pretty cool. I always wondered what this thing was. But it's a laser. I thought it was another grenade launcher. I'm like, it looks big enough to be one, but it's a laser. I don't know if you guys can see that laser. Oh yeah, uh, actually, there was a question somebody uh, once asked me. It's like, how do you do the quick bolting thing? And uh, they've they've always had problems with that. So. I will show you how it's done. Let's turn off the high controller geo. All right. Usually when you quick bolt, you have to have both weapons in your hand, right? And basically you press, was it right on the touchpad? Yeah, my touchpads are pretty broken. Let me switch hands here. So, oh, nope. That's even worse. Basically, all you do is press right on the touchpad, and then pull, 
Now I pump back and forward. Back and forward. Back, oh, back and forward. <laughs> I mean, it, it technically is pretty easy, but again, I have like the Vive controllers, so the touchpads are like really bad. I really need to open up these controllers one of these days, but uh, yeah, so you just basically just pump back and forward. Everyone keeps going like, you know, what they usually do. They push their, they, oh, hold on. What some people do is like they, they twist their controller up like this or something like that or you know and then your gun goes back like this which is you know a lot of people that's why I don't they don't like using the quick bolt but all you do oh man my touchpad is just garbage I have to find that sweet spot it's like right here Right? It's not here, it's like down here, sort of, so uh, my touchpads are just broken. So you, don't, you don't lose too much of your accuracy if you do it like that. If you just pump back and forth. Whereas some people, they go like, and then they move their hand all over the place, and it's just like... But, you know. Alright, so... Uh, Kind of rounds we got here, full metal jacket. This should be the Barbie. Yeah, that's the Barbie. This is the Drongo. And this is the Gobsmack. So, let's go with the full metal jacket. One. Is it going to go in? Is it a one-shot thing? No, this should be a magazine, right? Oh, there we go. It's a little finicky. Two. I think you get two plus one, right? Oh, all that talk and no firing. Come on, let's find a target here. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, I'm out. Okay, so that's full metal jacket. This is the Barbie. It's a little finicky, but you just got to shove it in there. Maybe Anton will fix that. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I mean, the, the sniper's primary rifle is a one-shot kind of thing. Whoops. So this is the Barbie. Ooh. That's loud and bright. I keep forgetting how loud this gun is. Oh, I'm out, right? Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have the gravity gloves on. Oh, let's put a suppressor on this thing. A little too loud. <laughs> it's a good thing, though. That's a good thing. That's a good thing it's loud. It's too loud for me right now. This is the Drongo. All right, let me just shove this bad boy in there. A little finicky. There we go. I might be doing it wrong, you know, <laughs> you never know. So this, I think, is the one that uh, gives a status debuff, right? Oh, well, also kills them if you hit them head on. Oops. Bolt action's not my, uh... Oh, I'm out, right? Yeah, I'm out. All right, so that was the Drongo. This is the Gobsmacker. I didn't say it properly earlier. It's with an A at the end. All right, come on. Oh, maybe I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. Yeah, well, I just have to forcefully push it in there, I guess. Maybe that would, that's kind of a... And this one, I think, uh, kind of stuns. So six. Oh, am I out of so sick targets already? Wow. Just killed everybody. So, it stunned them. 
And of course, if you get a decent headshot. Cool stuff. And then this is the last bit, which is like an Obrez version of uh, this. Yeah, pretty much. No laser, no laser sight on it. And uh, oh, since there's no front sight, well, you know, it's, uh, you're going to probably going to use this up close and personal, so. Oh, no, this is a, uh, no, this might be based off of the actual. Yeah, because it's only a, it's only a one shot weapon. So. Let's put a suppressor on this thing. There we go. An effective uh, euthanasia <laughs> pistol. Good for your covert, uh, you know, stealth mission kind of thing. You gotta sneak up against these guys. Of course, when things get a little hot, <laughs> wow, these are pretty cool weapons. All right, now let's drop these off. And let's look at the final thing, which is this uh, nice little grenade that Anton added for the uh, sniper. They're all so sigs. Spawn a couple more. And basically, it's like a flash grenade, but it's impact, so you don't need a you don't need to what's call it cook it off or you know. It's uh, purely just for throwing and. Stunning. Don't drop it. It'd be really bad if you dropped this. We're just going to prep all these grenades. Oh, that's right. Hold on just a second. All right. I think I should have everything. There we go. <laughs> there you go. That should be all the things. Let me reload the scene here. That should be all the things they, uh, that Anton put in the game for today. The uh, new augs, and then the uh, the sniper stuff. Also, the gravity gloves. <laughs> Larger objects are a lot easier to. Uh, A little, ca a little Captain America shield action. Hold on. Do we have any shields like that? Round shields? I don't think we do. Uh, we have a shield. Well, the heater. The heater shield is close. Like early Captain America kind of. Oh. Oh, hold on just a second. I got a little thing to do. I'll pause the video. All right, sorry about that. I uh, had to deal with something at the gate. You can hopefully you can't hear the dogs still barking. There are people out there, uh, there's like a party going on, and <laughs> they're, you know, whatever. Uh, all right, so we got the heater shield, which uh, again we need a round shield, but uh, let me just try this out. 
Oh, nope, that didn't work. <laughs> Hold on, I need, uh, I need some sosigs. This will probably not work because I'm not that coordinated enough, but... <laughs> that didn't work. Nope, that didn't work either. Oh, well, I got him on the rebound. <laughs> It'd be nice if we had a round shield, though. Ugh. Nope, come on. It's a little finicky, but that, you know, that's, uh... Hold on, I need to figure out how to hold these things. I didn't really use the shields that much. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah, I really need to. I really need to practice this uh, gravity globe thing here. But Anton said he's still tweaking it, so there might be some more options coming along in the future, like uh, you know sensitivity and all that good stuff. Adjust the uh, positions and stuff like that. I really don't know what he's got planned, oh, but. Let's try some other things here. Go with, uh... Let's see. Ooh, swords. Can we throw swords around? Let's, uh... Let's, uh, get out one of our, uh, katanas here. Oh, no! Oh, wait. I can sort of grab... Or... <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. What else can we do here? Uh, do we have any throwing? Throwing uh, shurikens. There we go. Oh, come on. No, I should... Can I? I'm out of gas. Grab it. No, I want to target this shuriken. It's a little finicky. Oh, no, it disappeared. Oh, dear. Really need to pick a new career. Oh, no. Ah, no. He's blocking. Get out of here. No, it's gone. It's, yeah, again, it's very, very work in progress. I keep selecting the sosigs instead of the thing that I want. There we go. Turn it. Well, for me, I guess. Turkin's a little too small. So we'll try something a little larger. We got some throwing daggers. Alright, where are the uh where are the throwing daggers here? Elegant. I think these can be spawn locked. Yeah, you can throw these. Oh, missed. Oh, darn it. oh, hit him in the... Come on, select it. Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta get rid of these things. <laughs> I'm terrible at throwing. Zowie. Oh, hit his armor. And I select it. Oh, I can bring it back. I'm gonna take my 15 minutes now. <laughs> nice, nice. It's like, ah, oh, throw it. Oh, I missed. Don't mind me. Do they have a range? Oh, they. I think they do. Oops. How far back can I go? Let's just drop that for right now. I think they do have a range. I can't really see the dot. Yeah. Hoop. Hoop. Yeah, 
shoot. Give me that knife back. <laughs> Alas, poor meat. Oh, just deflect. <laughs> we gotta practice. Ah, oh, that's close enough. Oh shoot! <laughs> Come on, I almost had it. Oh, <laughs> this is a lot more fun than I thought. There we go. I got him. Hey, you're not dead. Side throw. Whoop. <laughs> oh, I'm too close to my wall there. <laughs> I hit my controllers. This is a lot more fun than I <laughs> would have would have thought. Do the side throw, you know? Oh, I got his leg. Terrible at these. I need more practice. Oh, well, just grab me. Give me a knife. Oh no, before it disappears, no, 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 I, <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. Oh, goodness. Jinkies. Well, this is expected. Hold on, just a second. Oh, wow. Terrible. Oh, Give me that knife back. I don't think I can get that far. No, wait. I got it. I don't know how the how long the distance is. Seems like I can get it pretty far. Oops, I missed. Oh no. It's kind of weird how they, when they come back to you, they come back blade first. Yeah. Come here. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, that should be it for today. Although I do want to keep messing around with the daggers. Especially trying to throw them and then trying to pick them up again. Hopefully I can target no, a little too far. Oh, well, it's gone. Got to practice, you know? You got to practice. Oh, I was supposed to end the video, but I... I don't want to keep messing around with these gravity gloves. One more time. Oh, nice. Like that. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> this is so. This is. I know. I know. This is really dumb, but I just love these. Uh, this uh, implementation of the gravity gloves. It could use a little more work, yes, obviously, but, you know, Anton, he's always uh, constantly improving these things, so. Oh, that one I didn't get that time. So if you throw your weapon a little harder, <sighs> come on. I feel like uh, I'm. I feel like I'm a Jedi trying to like focus my powers into into getting the thing. Come on, I can do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, man, I missed it that time. <laughs> this is so dumb. I have people probably watching this are like, what is this guy doing? Just playing around with, like, throwing the gun. 
not doing any shooting. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, it's a little too far. Oh, come on. Oh, man. That would have been impressive. <laughs> All right, I really have to stop this video, so uh, where is my computer? Oh my goodness, I'm lost in my room here. I need to turn on the lights, I can't see. There we go. All right, let me go stop this video, and uh, I might play some Taken Hold later, so uh, I got a lot of things to do today. Uh, from what I've heard, I just got an invite to the Halo 2 flight, so I might do that, but, uh, you know, I want to play around more with these uh, gravity gloves Hopefully I don't hit my computer. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's about it for today. And I'll see you guys next time.